Refrigerator. Man, I don't know how to say this word. <laughs> Four wheel drive shift. Uh, shifter or shifter? What the hell? Oh, we gotta. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> What's up everyone, I was happy new video. Today guys, we'll be testing new game that got released yesterday and it's called Junkyard Truck. Basically this game, it is very close to Mumba Zoo, My Summer Car, My Garage and Car Mechanic Simulator. Junkyard Truck is an open world off-roading driving and mechanic simulator. Build, upgrade and maintain your old off-road truck. Make money using your skills in driving, scavenging, gambling or moonshine brewing. Try to build a truck capable of taking on the difficult challenges around the map. Today guys, we'll be testing this game and if you enjoyed, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe and comment if you wanna see more videos about this game. So so let's start playing. Okay guys, here we are at the menu of the junkyard truck and it is completely like very simple. I see like something very interesting like tips and tricks, something like that. Own something that just disappeared or fell into the void. Check the lost and found area near Jimmy Junk's auto repair. Okay, that's very interesting. Let's check out the other one. Your car doesn't need maintenance other than topping off the oil regularly. It burns oil and will start overheating if it gets too low. If you've mined all of the iron ore on the hillside, a rainy day will eventually come along and expose more ore and loosen some dirt. In the abandoned iron quarry, iron ore can be seen exposed in the hillside. It can also be found underneath chunks of loose dirt. The trees marked with a red ribbon can be cut down with a chainsaw and then cut into smaller pieces to transport to the forge. The pickaxe can be carried but is never part of your regular tool set. It's best to leave the pickaxe at the mining site. Early on you will encounter several missions and off-road challenges that seem impossible. Come back to them later after you've made some upgrades to your truck. It's easy to get lost and mismanage your time and money in the beginning. Sometimes starting over and getting a stronger start is the best way forward. Challenges can be obtained from NPCs or by getting in close proximity to the challenge. Four-wheel drive can be engaged manually moving the four-wheel drive shift uh, shifter or shifter? What the hell? You can place small items in your inventory by holding them and pressing I. Okay, that's very very interesting because this one we didn't have like any inventory in my summer car or Momba Zoo, but we can add them by mods. And to be honest, I don't want to use mods. Cash is treated like an item. If you want to buy something, don't forget to bring your cash. Having too much cash can clutter your inventory. You might have to stockpile your roll of cash somewhere. Lean in by pressing Q. This helps you see balls and helps you with drinking water from the faucet. You can save your game using the computer in your garage. Okay, I think that's the only way to save in the game, like I think Mombazoo. Revving the engine and dropping the clutch will give you a quick boost of power, but it's not good for your clutch and transmission system. Some food items are cheaper but need to be refrigerated at home. Refrigerator. Man, I don't know how to say this word. <laughs> I'm having an issue. Wait. Refrigerated beer is also slightly more effective at keeping your sanity in check. The welder in the garage can be used to fix body panels. It consumes welding wire which you will need to buy. Need to hop a tall fence? Park your vehicle next to it, climb on the top of your vehicle and jump from there. A full service manual can be found in your garage. New jobs regularly appear on your computer. Use your phone to fast travel or recover your vehicles from a small fee. There is a faucet you can use on the side of your garage. There is also another faucet at the gas station. Okay, that's really nice to hear that. Don't know what's wrong with your truck? Jimmy Junk's auto repair can perform an inspection. Jimmy can also fix it, but it's much cheaper to fix it yourself. You can buy food and drinks at the mini mart. You will move very slowly if you don't eat, sleep or stay hydrated. Your truck comes with an off-road jack. It can help you if you get stuck or need to change a tire. It's mounted to the inside of your truck bed. Maybe you widget your vehicle between two trees and got trapped in the cab because both doors were pinned shut. You can still climb out of the vehicle by pressing X. After going to sleep, you will wake up at 6.30 am. Unless your sanity level is low, low sanity levels make your sleep schedule unpredictable and make you more tired in the morning. Okay guys, I think that's it for the tips and to be honest, I learned a lot of stuff from these, trust me. So I think I'm ready to start a new game. Let's go! 
Okay, boys, we spawned, I think, in the middle of the forest, something like that. And, oh, this is my garage, boys, and this is my vehicle. Damn, it looks so poor and rusty. What the hell? I don't know, guys, if you can fix this car or not. Okay, never mind. Let's explore in the garage what we have. So, we got the garage door. We got a normal door for human. And that's for the cars right there. And I think we can open it. Okay, oh, I'm pressing left mouse, right mouse, E. Oh, it works with E. Before we do anything, I need to check the settings and let me check my controls. So guys, this is the controls of the game and we can change any keybinds and that's kind of bad to be honest. Let me check out the visuals. Is it good? Oh, okay. I want like max. So let's check out the shelf. We got some paint and okay, crash with the C. We can't use these and these. The only thing that we can use in the bull shelf is the paint right here. Okay, let's get to the next one. And this is the chainsaw. This is the welder. We can't use these two. Oh, service manual. Okay, press E. Okay, let's go next. Let's see what we got. Okay, there is like page two and four. We got cooling system, engine oil and oil filter, air filter. Page five and six, we got engine removal, engine assembly between like seven and 16. Drivetrain, we got transmission, transfer case, differential gears between 17 and 19 we got the troubleshooting all light check engine light temperature warning failure to start failure to move loss of power exhaust smoke noises between the page 20 and 27 to be honest guys i'm really really impressed about this one i like it i'm gonna leave it like that can we use this one oh we can oh whoa 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 Oh, we did glitch this thing. What the hell? Oh, I have like to hold, I think. Can we use the mechanical creeper? Oh, yeah, we can. We got some speed in this one. Better than Mumba Zoo, to be honest. I like it. Okay, I'm gonna leave it right there. Basically, I think we can use this one. Oh, yeah, we can. So let's get to the second floor. We got right here the sink. Can we use it? Nope. And we got the fridge. And it has literally nothing. Close it. And can we use this thing? The microwave? Nope. Oh, we can sleep on the couch that's interesting and this is like a really interesting table i like it as you can see right here we got some license plate and basically we can't touch them and i don't know like can you use something right here in this place this is the, like a glass shelf we can put some stuff in it oh this looks like playstation 3 what the hell i like it can we play something oh man we can't play anything man i can't play anything what the hell like even this one like it's for decoration like everything oh this is interesting we got like computer let's press what the hell we got some cash boys okay i think i need to press e i believe so yeah let's press e on my computer we can save the game as you can see we let's do that and we got a message from the johnny junks i think i found what you wanted okay let's check in you still looking for a truck my junkyard received a truck this morning and not just any truck a 1982 diamondback this year end model is a legendary for being damn near indestructible it needs some work but i'll sell it for an easy 400 dollars come on down and take a look if you're interested don't forget to bring cash we take cash only johnny junks auto junction to be honest guys i'm totally interested about this one so i'm going back and let's go exit and we got the cash 500 bucks before we go to the quest we got like a missions tab right here in the pause menu let's see it as you can see right here we got like incomplete missions visit the junkyard johnny junk says he has an off-road truck for sale at his junkyard don't forget to pick up your cash on your desk okay i already did that so i think we have the vehicle we got the cash and the sad thing about this game we can't use the steering wheel like there is no wheel support at the moment moment close the door okay and let's start the car wait the ignition okay come on what the hell my steering wheel is working on the game but can we accelerate oh no we can't yeah sadly we can't use anything on the steering wheel except for steering so i think we have to use the keyboard at the moment before we drive off let's open the map and he should be in this location maybe i think first thing to do we are going to the gas station to get some fuel and maybe we're gonna head to the joni so yeah let's go the engine sound not the big fan. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I'm not very used to the keyboard driving. It is really sus. Trust me, I really don't like it. And I think I don't have brake. I'm literally like braking at the moment. I'm pressing S. Maybe I'm gonna try to press spacebar. Wait. Oh, okay. I think the spacebar works. Ooh, that's a good jump. Rooney. Oh, we gotta. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs>